you have come to trust in God and you have placed your faith and hope in God because he raised Christ from the dead and gave him great glory. Verse 22, you were cleansed from your sins when you obeyed the truth. So now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. I'm sorry, I need to say that one more time. So now you must, you must, it's your duty, it's your obligation, it's an expectation. So now you must show sincere love to each other as brothers and sisters. Love each other deeply with all of your heart. I'm going to tell you right now, we are failing miserably in this regard. We are failing miserably in loving our brothers and sisters with all of our self-righteous judgments, with all of our turning up our noses as if we're better than the next person, with all of our haughty, high-minded, arrogant attitudes. And God says, you must, you must do these things. Because how on earth can it be possible that the same God who is the epitome of everything that it means to love lives in you and yet that's not your automatic response? Could it be that in some areas of your life you're still feeding your flesh. And in those areas where you're feeding your flesh, your flesh is still responding. Your flesh is still speaking for you when you open your mouth because out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. So if ugliness, if slander, if mockery, if self-righteous judgment, if insults are coming out of your mouth, guess where that's emerging from? The wickedness that still remains in your heart. I'm not saying.